is it's Gainer again. Oh, look at my worksheet. Stinking. Let me get rid of this. My drag mess there, isn't it? Um, just a quick one tonight, I think. It's a very simple card. It's absolutely cute. Um, I remember making these back in the day when I was a kid in school, but I went and used the Whisper White Extra Thick card spot, and I also put some designer series paper on, which is quite thick. It's the shiny stuff out of the Tasty Treats. In fact, I'll show you now. Um, it's called the TP card. How sweet. And she stands, she stands up like that. Uh, and you fold it. But this is so thick and I'm going to make it a bit thinner. But it does fit in a normal uh, envelope for posting as well. And I use the tree builder punch to put the little clouds on. It becomes clouds or ice cream on the tree, the tree builder punch. To say hello friend. Uh, the adorable little thing. It reminds me of the Eiffel Tower as well. So, and it's so simple to make, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. And I'm changing it up. I'm going to stamp with uh, the blooms and wishes. And I'm going to add um, the flower. I'm using this flower here and this one here, is it? And I'm one of the little leaves. And I'm going to be using for you. Um, but I'm going to do my own design of this paper onto the... The very vanilla and all you need is three pieces and they're all cut four inches by four inches you do need your trimmer so you can fetch that in we don't need to cut them so I'm going to get rid of the cutting blade and you're basically just going to put them in corner to corner keeping sure they're on the track and we're just going to Score all three pieces. Well, that didn't look right. Let me try it again. I did have it on the track. I'll tell you what I'm going to use because I know it works with my bone folder. Corner to corner, that's better. And you're just going to fold them corner to corner. And you're going to do that with all three pieces. No, don't press too hard because the very vanilla is slightly, it's a good card stock, it's absolutely beautiful. But uh, I used the extra thick and it was a bit too stiff for this project, I think. I'm going to keep that one on my desk for me to look at because I like it. So you've got one, two and your last piece. And it's so simple. I think, yeah, we're going to stamp in a moment. I'm going to just use that as well and I make sure I get point to point. Fold them over, making sure they all fit nice and tidy. And I go over with your bone folder. And there's our three little pieces. I'll show you principally now. You're going to open two up. And you're going to lay them, so you've got one score line going to one side and one to the other. So it looks like a triangle in the centre, because this piece is going here. And if uh, we pull it all together, that's how quick it goes together. Isn't that sweet? But uh, we're going to stamp these now. And we're going to add some pretty colours. And I've decided to use uh, my soap saffron. And I'm also going to use Wisteria Wonder. Which I'm quite liking at the minute. And I've just got all over my finger. So be careful. And I'm also using uh, the Wild Wasabi for the little leaves. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the paler colour and I'm going to work my way 
I went over the cards. Oh, and I tell you what, this so saffron is absolutely stunning on the very vanilla. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to put about... Oh, beautiful. I'm going to put about three or four on each one. You could add all of the flowers if you wanted to. I'm just... I use designer series paper off the Tasty Treats on that one and it's just one sided, it's quite thick itself. And I did have designer series paper out which I was going to cut and add on but I thought no let's do some stamping. So I add in, uh, you could add the designer series paper if you wish but uh, I quite like this. I'm loving this colour on the Berry Vanilla. It's so sweet. Just a little subtle hint. How gorgeous is that? And I'm stamping all three. I know you're only going to see the legs probably on one. Uh, so I'm trying to keep them down towards the corners as well. Stunning. I'm having another squeeze on there. This one's got a few more on. But it doesn't matter. It's wherever you want to put them. How sweet. Um, because this is such a pale colour, I am going to move on now. I'm going to put one or two of the Wisteria Wonder. Oh, look at that. Just coming off the edge of my paper. because I'm going to be adding a different flower as well, so I don't want to overload too much. So perhaps just on the ends with this. Oh, stunning. And then we're going to come back in then with our bigger flower and some leaves, and I think that should fair. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm loving it. How sweet is that? I really like that. And I just literally seconds before I started filming decided to use those colours. So I'm not going to bother with that colour. I'm just going to add some of this beautiful, look at this, get it all on the edge of my stamp. Um, I'm going to add this beautiful large flower now. Oh, st absolutely stunning. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to come back in now with the wild wasabi and do some leaves. And I'm going to do my sentiment on a separate piece of paper. And we're going to add that uh, like a banner or something. You can have it saying whatever you want. I think it reminds me of the Eiffel Tower, like I'm saying. It's a lovely little stamp, uh, it's a lovely little card and easy to send. So that's the flowers. Let's try and get this gorgeous little leaf in somewhere. I do like this. I think I'm just going to add them randomly. I'm not even going to try and add them to my, to my uh, flowers. I'm just going to have them floating. Look how sweet that is. Oh, I'm loving these colours together. How summery is that? And how nice to give somebody some different shape. I woke up this morning to two beautiful cards of two beautiful ladies who shot with me. And I was absolutely bowled over with the sentiments and saying they wanted me to get well soon and I just thank you both you know who you are and I am going to give you a special mention because you are two beautiful people it's a lo lovely lovely Lynn Graham absolutely gorgeous we just got off the phone to each other now <laughs> we, chat, we start chatting and it feels like we've been on the phone five minutes and it's so that an hour <laughs> And the lovely Taylor Woods. You are a little diamond, the pair of you. And you've made my day. 
and thank you. And uh, I just really shocked. Very pleasantly shocked at that. Doesn't that look nice? Hasn't that come together lovely? Oh, I think that's so pretty. Let's squeeze another one in there. How simple is that? And that's my stamping. Um, I am going to do... I'm going to grab some spare, which I've got here. Very vanilla. Oops, I'm knocking everything all over the place. And I'm going to stamp for you in the Wisteria Wonder as well. And then I'm going to... I haven't even decided how I'm going to cut this out yet, but what with it though? Oh, I know what I've got to do. I just can't help myself when it comes to this little flower, uh, this little leaf. Um, oh, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Let's see if we can get another bit in here. Oh, stun it. There you go. That's my sentiment. I'm going to close these up now just to get my fingers in them. Oh, I, I do I think that's really pretty. So, right, we're going to come back now and we're going to position our cards. You can always check, turn them over, see which way your flowers are running. But I don't think it really matters so much with the this the way the flowers are running is beautiful oh see now i've got to pick the best which one's gonna be my inner piece they're all stunning so i'm gonna have these as my outer pieces i've got a bit of a sniffle i have so we're gonna lay this on here How oh, gorgeous. Making sure we can fold. Right, now I'm going to fetch in my adhesive. Um, I think I'll use Tombow. It's more forgiving. But what we want to do is follow the line and just glue this bit. In fact, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to fold that. Keeping it into place. My little glue doesn't want to come out. <laughs> oh, there we are. Oh, I don't want to come out, look. Oh, there we go. Oh, I've gone all the way down. Oh, dozy in there. I've got a bit of a sponge here. I'm going to try. I've wiped a bit off. Let's see if that, uh, me and my boo boobs. It's so simple to put together. Just making sure you stay on that line. Now, I can use my eraser on that in a minute. So, again, just halfway down this time. Making sure they stay together. And that this flap is tidy against there. Whoops, I got a bit. That's it. See how it comes together now? And we're actually going to have to put a bit of glue down there. Just so it keeps it in place. But how quick and simple has that card come together? Just pinch it together for a minute, there it's set. I mean, I've seen people do these. They need to put like little Velcro strips so they can lay flat. But uh, I think it's uh, divine. Just like that. And we're going to put a crease there. Slowly work it. With it. Once I've adhered it now. And it will lay flat then inside your card. I'm going to 
I'm going to get my eraser on that just for a second to see if I can get rid of this little bit of glue because I did go just pull it towards you and it will uh, get that little bit of glue off there this is a glue eraser which we do sell in Stampin' Up for some reason mine's looking a bit tatty on here Yes, it's coming now. Can you see it rolling down? It's just that when I close it, oh, it's gone. When I close the card now, with the crease down the side, it won't stick together. Perfect. Another little handy tool we sell. We should call it Gainers Boo Boobs. <laughs> so if I put, I know not to glue past there, so. Just try and get along the edge. And again, we're going to fetch this card over. And push it together with our fingers. And just hold it into place for a minute. While I decide what punch I'm going to use. To add my sentiment. And there we have it. Oh, how cute is that already? Um, while that sits there for a moment, give me a sec, I'm going to get to... I'm going to try my decorative label punch for this. Don't worry about the leaves. Um, as long as I can get that sentiment in there. And you can still see the leaves. How cute. Absolutely cute. And I do have... I wonder if this would go. I know it's not exactly the same colour. This is the the perfect plum. It's just on my desk now. I'm going to see what it looks like. All our colours match and go together anyway. So if I could split that. Oh yes, watch this now. I'm going to take my. I'm going to snip off this little corner bit there. Get that nick out. And I'm going to slice this then clean in half. Take my little tombow again. And I'm going to add just at the bottom. And I'm going to pop that up behind. Give me a little border. How sweet is this? Just enough to swash it around in the corners, get it stuck. Making sure we got our little border all the way round again. Hold that into place. I love the tumble so you've got some little bit of wiggle room with it. It's great. And how's that? I'm going to come in now with a couple of dimensionals. Squash them down. Let me check my card now. Oh look how sweet. And it's a dear gorgeous. Like I say, where the crease is, this is gonna be the back or the side of the card so I'm going to decide where I want my for you I'm going to do this first what you're going to do is just gently work it with your fingers just this side manipulate it no need to go wild and just pull it together just so you know it's not being rough handled and you're going to close those two edges, see that? And give it a squeeze now. I'm not going to go over with the bone folder and nothing because we don't want to, to but with that will now, once I pop this on my card there, I love the little hangover off the edge as well. How sweet. 
gonna grab an envelope out the drawer and show you that it goes. And look at that, it fits in your envelope perfectly. So I can now decorate with some little bit of bling. I'm going to add some of my rhinestones to these lovely little flowers. I don't think it adds to the weight. Whoops. Just going to give it some bling. And every lady likes a little bit of bling. And it just sets the card off. If you want more bling, you could go over your sentiment with some Winker Stella. <gasps> Look, there's flowers everywhere. Oof. I'm going to pop this inside the envelope in a moment to show you it all fits. How quick and simple that go together. And your friend or whoever you're going to send it to, your loved one, they're going to look at that and think, wow. And it's only taking you about 10 minutes to pop it together. How beautiful is that? You might use a lot of rhinestones, but... Uh, Gorgeous and adorable, and something totally different again. And if you want, where you've creased, you can add some in there. But your recipient now, when you get that, they're gonna know as to that's gonna stand up. Um, I would then pop a, a nice little piece of white, what's the white cast, or some very vanilla. Use your decorative punch, or use your tag top punch. Cut it two inches nicely. In fact, I'll do that now while I'm here. Quickly. I'm cutting this. Um, this is about... This is four inches long. And I'm going to cut this one sixteenth short of two inches. And I'm going to get my... My beautiful tag top punch which fits in there perfectly now. And I'm going to... I'm going to huff on my stamp. And then I'm... I'm going to send that with the card with a little message inside to who it's from and who, who it's for and that can go in the envelope too. Oh my god girls, you've got to bling this up a little bit. And it's just a little huff on that card, on that ink to reactivate it. And our card then will fit perfectly in your envelope. So we a little tag as well. How sweet. And it fits lovely. And I know there's not much space for you to do any writing. But uh, there you have it. That's the one I made just with you. On my little tab. To write who my message is for. To a dear friend. To a loved one. Um... But it, it's endless. You can send them. They're just gorgeous. I just wish this one. It fits in the envelope, but it probably busts the envelope open while I'm trying to send it. Look, see, I'll see now. Too thick. So I'm going to keep this one on my little desk and look at it whilst I'm making cards. But this one, perfect fit. Absolutely gorgeous. And like I say, you write who it's for on there pop that inside they know who sent it and made that beautiful card and there you have it your lovely little teepee card and it will stand up automatically on its own so i hope you enjoyed that just a little quick one um a thanks a thumbs up a share and a subscribe would be amazing and if you want to continue watching my videos and you'll get a notification um, all the supplies that I've used today can be bought in my 24 online shop. You're more than welcome to click the link. I'll put all the dimensions in my blog as well, along with the shop now button. 
and uh, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.